We're here in Jerusalem, night before the, or day before the start of the Giro d'Italia, talking with Swain Tuff from uh, Mitchell and Scott. Um, Swain, um, it's, it's the start of, I, I, I guess, your, 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 your farewell tour season. Yeah, yeah, that's uh, something I've kind of, yeah, realized in the last couple months is uh, this will be my last uh, last Giro, and uh, Giros have always been special for this team. So yeah, it's uh, it's one of those things. Um, it's exciting for me, but it's also uh, yeah, it's it's also difficult too because I know that part of my life will will come to a close. But uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Eh? So how many Giros have you done, including well, including this one? I actually don't know those numbers. Maybe eight or nine. Yeah, first one was in 2010. So yeah. So Israel. I mean, you're at a at a historic uh, Giro. The, it's the actually the first Grand Tour to take place outside of Europe. Yeah, I think that's it's pretty incredible what they've pulled off here. And I, th I was saying to the boys, you know, like a lot of times. We'll start out, you know, in Holland or so somewhere different in Europe, but it's something we're all very used to. And this will be really interesting because it's totally different. And it'll always almost feel like two parts of a race, you know, because when we leave here and go to Sicily, we'll be back in Europe. And a lot of us know that terrain, know those courses. And uh, yeah, I think it's really going to be like part one and, and part two. So I think it's, it's really, uh, it's amazing what they've been able to pull off here. I was just, you know, we've seen the the prologue course and going to be able to shut down this, this city is, uh, yeah, pretty amazing. <laughs> so you've had a chance to see the course. What are your thoughts about it? From, from just looking at the map, it looks like a, a fair number of corners there. Yeah, I think uh, I haven't seen the entire thing, but I've seen a lot of the different sections. And uh, the actual hills are, are a, a lot more than you would think as well. Um, <laughs> Some of them have, you know, big, big corners before you go up a steep climb. And yeah, I think uh, it's going to be surprisingly hard. And uh, I mean, they always are, but this course is, is not going to be for like a, a peer time trial or something like a Dumoulin can do well, but uh, it's also going to suit like a, a lighter, punchier guy who can really explode over the climbs and recover and, and do it over and over. So, so I mean, what are you going to be looking for personally um, in, in, in your last year? Ah, you know, it, it's changed a lot for me over the years. <laughs> but for sure, uh, something I get great satisfaction of is being part of a team like this. And we have two guys who are really a threat for the overall. You know, they're capable. They've shown in past years either been on the podium or, or been top 10, top 5. So, yeah, it's... Uh, <coughs> that's a lot of work and it starts day one and it's all about you know my job is is really different from uh, a mountain domestique's job or something like that and uh you know it's for me it's just from kilometer zero and, until as far as i can go and then look after those guys as, as best as i can and if i've done my job well it just it saves them so much energy and and i think that's one of the things that people don't really realize about bike racing is how much goes in between those guys to have their their results day in day out in a grand tour it's super important that they have a full crew there supporting them uh every little second along the way so yeah it's that's my job and it's it's drawn out over a long period so i have to really be careful too because uh yeah you you expend a lot of energy throughout a day and uh in the past i've learned the hard way that uh it's hard to come back sometimes <laughs> So, and, and I guess the rest of your season, I mean, uh, I'm wondering, are we going to see you, for example, back defending your time trial title at Nationals? Yeah, that's something I, I, I never make any plans until after the Giro. So, uh, in the past, I always wait till the Giro, see what my, the rest of my calendar looks like, because it's the same with the team. I don't, I don't like to have a plan until you get through the Giro, or maybe I talk to Whitey in the third week of the Giro, and we say, okay, let's... Let's do these races, and uh, and then I can make my plan about maybe coming to Canada. It'd be I'd love to go one last time, and I was really uh, I was actually quite excited when I saw that Kamloops was a possibility because that was where I won my first national title. But it's also where I have family there, and 
so I was I was really hoping but uh, yeah unfortunately it's uh, yeah not happening <laughs> And other big races, like for example, the Tour, or um, any, any other big races. Uh, you know, like I said, uh, I, I think um, after this, I think it might be my last Grand Tour. So, yeah, it, it won't be uh, Tour de France or Vuelta, I don't think. And um, but yeah, definitely some some good races, but not the the Grand Tours anymore. Thanks a lot. Thanks.